hello again everyone well we're still in the, we're still in the marina um, but we'll soon be out and about but I just thought I'd talk to you about a few things what uh, what we've got on board what may be of use to fellow boaters and for non boaters it could it they could be uh, they could be found to be interesting and we'll just go through just a few things and uh, hopefully it will be of interest and we're going to start off with one thing what so many boaters forget about and yet they have something what's worth a lot of money and uh, we'll cover that one first right the first thing if you look up there it's a, a PIR for the alarm now the alarm you say that is something what's forgotten about by so many people we can't show you everything because obviously uh, that, that could tell people what's what but we have a very sophisticated system on board which no doubt at all uh, gives us peace of mind and uh, it's something what so many narrow boats forget about but uh, for us we've got a decent alarm system with a lot of, lot of little bits attached and uh, like we say you have peace of mind then so that's the first one we'll we move on to uh, something else that we think is very important um, I did show this or something similar um, a while ago now but I thought it's worth going through things again mainly because this product is now generally uh, available and I'll put a link in the description below um, but it's it's just superb and uh, I'd recommend it to anybody now what we have and it's important for us because you know quality of water uh, when you're drinking and cooking and things and that and having a decent filter now you can get a variety of filters but not all of them take out what I call all the nasties so we have a product which we've had for years um, from a company called General Ecology and uh, this is the filter I'll show you everything because I'll do it I'll do it all in a live environment and show you how easy it is to change in a minute but this this here is the filter made by uh, General Ecology and it's nature pure what we've what we've chosen and it comes with a four set as well we've put our own on because it's a bit it's a bit bigger and it, we think it suits but it does come with one now I'll explain what that is shortly and you'll see what it does but this is the actual filter now you get a good 12 months 12 to 18 months depending how much you use it but that's the replacement filter which I'm going to do in a minute uh, and the water quality is superb and uh, when they used to go to Crick to the boat shore they used to get canal water put it through this system and then they used to drink it I don't know whether I'd I don't know whether I'd do that like but that's what they used to do when they were advertising it it's also these systems are used on uh, on some well-known uh, airlines as well because they're pretty uh, they're pretty decent so I'll get on with the next part to just show you how simple it is all I need is a screwdriver and I'll show you why in a minute but if you just turn the water off directly you don't need anything at all but uh, for us we've got it set up to make it even easier lack of talking and uh, we'll just get on with showing you how easy it is to exchange well that's everything we need like I said I've got the filter ready and we've just got uh, a few paper towels and this uh, little plastic container what just can catch any bits of water and I think now it's uh, time to get on with it 
first of all I'm going to isolate the uh, the water supply to the filter and that piece there is the cold water supply coming round to the nature pure filter system but rather than cut all the water supply off in the boat I can just do very similar to what you can get in a home. you just have an isolator and away it goes it just turns off just like that so that supply is now isolated and I can get on with the, the necessary work obviously we just double check there's no water coming so uh, at the faucet we've got nothing so I can safely get on with it so this is the uh, nature pure system all quite simple and you know when we talked about this here we'll see if we need that afterwards but all I do first is just remove this this piece and put it to one side and I just make certain I've got this under and my paper towels just in case there's a bit of water which there normally is because I lift it out I lift it out off the bracket now sometimes depends it's funny it depends on on the time of the year but you see this sometimes it sticks inside when you take it off and sometimes it falls so just be aware sometimes it can just fall when you you take this apart and there'll be a bit of water but not no great amount nothing uh, no, no vast amount to cause any damage but I'll see what happens now so I'll lift that off and I'll just slowly but surely take this off and that's what I've done now in this case I'll just leave that piece there if you see this is this has come off straight away sometimes it just sticks on but it's come off and it's made it a bit easier for me so that's the old filter which I'll just leave there and this bit of water I'll just put that in the sink that's easy enough so old filter done and dusted lasted us about 18 months and we can throw that away shortly but for now we'll fit the new one and here we have the brand new one and all I do if you look inside there there's just a little piece if you can see it in the middle and I just press that onto it and that's it and then I get this piece push it back on very little water as well so it's all pushed on put it back in the bracket like that I think I might as well use the old one and keep the new one because this will do exactly what it needs to do there you are done and dusted hardly any water I'll just dry that off any little bit not much but that will do us for another um, <laughs> quite a few uh, quite a few months that another another season and a half and uh, we'll just turn the uh, water back on and check everything's okay exactly like before just find the slot water on we're back to normal and we'll just check there's no leaks and as you can hear now it's coming through the filter and all is working that was the water pump what comes on obviously when it's switched on just make certain everything's right and if you look carefully now no leaks everything's fine 
and just in case you didn't know by the way that is our our water pump with another filter on there and that there just to, just so you know is the accumulator tank which is allows the water to just come through the taps consistently um the size of pump and the and accumulator we've got allows us to uh have two or three taps on without any loss of pressure so give it carefully there now that's us all done all systems go and uh, we'll just move on to a uh, another little thing what we think is uh, pretty good and uh, I'll show you that now we're now on to something else which over the years we've tried different things and it's in the bathroom and it's how we prefer to get rid of the waste water from the shower now there's different things there's something called a, a gulper pump and that just pumps it out at a tremendous force uh, we've had boats against us spraying all sorts all over the side of the boat all soap and everything they've been that powerful um, and then there's just a, a normal just press a switch with your fingers and let everything <clears throat> pump out and that's another way but we like an automatic system so we don't have to uh, think about things it just all does it automatically and I'll show you that and again you have to maintain it we always maintain things and just keep things clean and I'll just show you how easy this one is uh, to clean it or if you ever wanted to replace it so we'll get to that now in the bottom cupboard next to the shower uh, we have our towels and that and uh, so I'll open the door remove the towels and then show you what's what so there you are uh, everything's been moved and I'll get access to the uh, automatic shower pump and I'll show you how uh, all that works so I just take this bottom piece out here and just put that to one side and if you're looking here now this is the uh, automatic pump and we'll uh, show you the setup how you uh, take things apart and do a little bit of maintenance what I need to do first I've got four screws to take out they're in each corner and that's just they're just here in, and same all round now that's a bit awkward with the camera so I'll take them off and then I'll show you what it looks like inside so that's uh, the screws removed and we'll just take the top off that's nice and easy get that out the way and then inside we have an automatic pump and that's obviously that's that one there and this is a filter on the left to keep everything clear and uh, we just maintain that and remove it uh, on a regular basis just to keep things clean and obviously when the water gets up to a couple of inches the switch clicks in and we get uh, the pump pumping out the water and we don't have to think about anything we just have the shower but I'm just going to take out that filter now and see what uh, what it looks like well we have quite a bit in and it's not quite blocked up but if it if it does uh, it's not good that your, your shower starts to slow down emptying so we have an idea when I won't show you cl cleaning it all out because it's mucky but I'll clean all that out and then just fit it back into the uh, automatic shower pump box and that'll be all right again for probably six months there we have it all lovely and clean again and uh, everything will start coming out quite fast again on the uh, from the shower so i think i better put that back now before i forget the filter is now back in place nice and clean and everything can be put together 
and our towels and bits and pieces can go back into the cupboard so we've seen we've shown you a few uh, things what we maintain you know to keep things going it's not all uh, maintenance free on narrow boats that's for certain and we do our bits to keep it all uh, spick and span and up and running and uh, we'll probably show you a few more things in future videos but i think that's another one done i uh, hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting i i love doing my little practical bits now and then i, I really do i enjoy like th doing things like that right that's it and we'll definitely see you in the next one but for now Tara!